Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to unbox The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch OLED. Hey everyone, Pistol Pete back again. I know it's been a while. It's been about three months since my last video. But hey, thank you all so much for tuning in to today's video. First, I wanna thank everybody for the last video that I did, which was the Steam Deck SD card video, which has gone over 30,000 plays. Like, holy smokes, that's crazy. Comments have been amazing, super kind, and just wonderful. I can't thank you all enough. I am looking forward to doing more videos. Hopefully I can get back into doing these on a more regular basis and not every three months. So that's the plan. I went through some, some life changing events, bought a house, finished up my degree for photography. So I'm ready to get back at it. I'm ready to do some videos and I'm so happy you're here. For those of you who don't know me, which is probably most of you, I'm a huge Zelda fan. As you can see, I have tons of Zelda shirts. I have a Zelda tattoo. Uh, or I'm sorry, a Link tattoo from A Link to the Past, one of my all-time favorite games. I loved Breath of the Wild, so I'm super pumped for Tears of the Kingdom to drop, and I'm really excited to unbox this this new Switch OLED, which I've never touched, I've never handled the OLED. I've seen it at the stores, the screen's bright, looks amazing, so I can't wait to see this, what the special edition Switch looks like. That being said, I'm gonna ask you now if you all could like and subscribe if you're enjoying the videos, if you're enjoying the content. I really would like to maybe monetize the channel. If I can get more money in, I can buy more toys, get you some gadgets and, and audio equipment and just stuff so I can continue to grow the channel and do more intricate videos. This is a lot of fun for me and I really enjoy making these and just the process and what have you. It's just a lot of fun. And that being said, we're almost on our way to being monetized. We are at over 2000 hours play viewed and we are now over 500 subscribers. So we're sort of halfway there on both, on both of those fronts. And so continue watching the videos, continue to like and subscribe and do all the things, comment, Let's grow this channel. I'm just, I'm just super happy and I, I can't, I never even imagined that I would have a video that would have 30,000 plays and that's still going up. It'd be a lot of fun to continue this on. So thank you all. Thank you all so much for, for watching the videos. All right, let's open this baby. Now I got this at Best Buy and as you can see here, there's some damage to the box, which I wasn't particularly happy about, but no big deal, I guess. Anywho, how do we open this up? Oh, okay, so it's right here. So we got the two Joy-Cons that are very pretty. I don't know if you all can see that. That looks pretty good, I'd say. I'm super pumped for this game because I love, I loved Breath of the Wild. It was probably an all-timer for me. There's the other Joy-Con. I don't know why his focus isn't working on here now. Now, I am really excited for Tears of the Kingdom. 
I actually have never opened up or really had my hands on an OLED switch. You see here it has some cool texture on the background. Some uh, manuals, nothing else on there. Yeah, so I ordered this on Best Buy and I've had pretty good luck with ordering things on Best Buy, but for some reason this, this box was sort of damaged, but I wasn't, I wasn't too thrilled about it, but it's just a box. I'm not trying to sell this for a profit. I'm gonna wind up using it, so. This is an HDMI cord. Power cord. And then this, the Joy-Con adapter for the controller. Oh. That's right, I forgot about the dock. This is gonna be pretty. I love the way this dock looks as far as everything that I've seen. Ooh, that looks nice. So I love the little details on there. You can see it right there. Now, with this, this looks really good. You can see it's like a little glare there. Let me try the other camera here. So you can see it there. That looks very good. You can see that. That design is sick. It's not textured though, you can't feel it. I guess, I never thought, I don't know if you can actually connect the actual old switch to this. That's one thing I haven't tried yet. So, but yeah, this looks really good. Well, that about wraps it up. I just love the stocking station. The design on it is amazing, the gold color. Rollers, the gold rollers, Joy-Cons just look amazing. The, here you can see the detail on the design. Very happy with the overall graphics feel of this Twitch console. It's just really well done, beautifully made. It just makes me super ecstatic or super excited to play the new Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Just super pumped for it. The back of the Switch itself you can, has the texture design again here. It just actually like a textured feel so you can actually feel it it just kind of reminds me of naruto doesn't it doesn't it have like a naruto feel <laughs> i feel like it does but here the 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 screen in all its glory wanted you all to see what the console looked like fully operational here it is in the dock looks so good even when you sit it up on top of the entertainment center i can't go over how awesome this console looks they did they truly knocked it out of the park with this, this console, in my opinion. And the OLED is, is nice. I'm super pumped for that OLED screen. Here's a better look at the Joy-Con with the actual attachment pieces on there, which I didn't show you. You can see that the the wrist strap has a, just a small like design on it. It's a gold color. And it's just so beautifully well done. 